God bless you, Poplar Spring, once again. We are here, and we are standing on the promises of the Lord. We thank you, amen, that uh, the Lord has blessed us to see another fourth Sunday. It's the fourth Sunday, amen, in March, and we just thank God, Palm Sunday. We just give God the praise, the honor, and the glory. Thank God my chairman is with me again. He's he making, me, he making me happy. Amen. We thank God for Sister Willie. Amen. Sister Kathy Jackson. And I got my main man, Brother Bubba, is here with us today. And we're going to just give a verse of, I got a mind to do right. While we're singing, I would if you look at Luke 23. And amen. 33 for a moment. Yeah, yeah. Got a mind to do right. I got a mind to do right. Got a mind to do right every day. Jesus gave me this mind to do right. Got a mind to do right every day. Yes, sir. Got a mind to pray right. I got a mind, pray right. I got a mind, pray right. Every day. Woo! Jesus gave me this mind, pray right. I got a mind, pray right. Every day. Oh, got a mind, live right. Got a mind to live right. Got a mind to live right. Every, every day. Woo! Jesus gave me this mind to live right. Got a mind to live right. Every day. Come on. Oh, got a mind to do right. I got a mind to do right. I got a mind to do right. Every, every day. Yeah, Jesus gave me this mind to do right. I got a 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 mind to do right. Yeah, I got a mind to do right. Oh, I got a mind to do right. Hey, every day. Yeah. Hallelujah. Don't know about you, but I got a mind to do right. Not someday, but every day.
Certainly we thank God. I, I left out one of my main brothers. Amen. Brother Renda. Reverend Renda is with us today and we thank God. We're going to get Mary up here with us one night so we can really have church. Amen. Certainly it's a good thing to be in the house of the Lord and we pray that amen you brothers and sisters be praying for Papa Spring and not only for us but all the churches amen that are trying to move to the next amen phase of their service and we're asking you just have mercy upon the this morning amen I want to start talking about the Easter Sunday and what's going on and I preached this for 38 years uh, about Easter, and I just want to just throw in some tidbits today concerning, amen, uh, the cross. And the message today, amen, start in Luke 23 and 33, and it read, And when they was come to the place which is called Calvary, there they crucified him, and the mouth back, the one on the right hand and the other on the left. 34th verse said, Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. God bless the reading of the word for the good edification of our hearts, our mind, and our soul. Like you for a message today, a place called Calvary. Hallelujah. A place called Calvary. And Brother A.B., I was doing a little study last night, and I've, I've noticed it, but I just thank God that I looked at it. It talked about Calvary, amen, had three names in a way, and one of them was Golgotha, and the other one was, amen, Skull, amen, a place of Skull. And uh, Golgotha, amen, and Calvary. And I'm used to Calvary because I went to Mount Calvary Baptist Church. And Calvary, amen, Golgotha, amen, may, amen, talking about the place of the skull, it said it may have been a skull shaped hill that they was on. Or uh, it may have been a name because of the place, amen, of crucifixion. Uh, they did a lot of crucifying people up there on uh, that hill. And it, amen, accommodated, amen, a lot of people. Skulls, amen, was all over the place. So none of the gospel ever mentioned about this hill, but we find it talking about a place of the skull, which is, amen, Calvary. And this morning, uh, we want to talk about a place called Calvary. The reason I want to use the Calvary phrase because I do know there was a song so on the hill far away. So the old rugged cross. Amen. So we just know that that means something. Amen. Calvary means something. Amen. Jesus followed. They were zealous and honest. Amen. And they, they were honest. Amen. And not only that, Amen. When he entered Jerusalem a few days before his crucifixion, amen, the mother to rejoice, amen, and praise God, amen, for all the mighty work, amen, they had seen him do. Lord and mercy, you know he had done some great things, amen. So they gave him praise, and they gave him honor, and they gave him the glory. Jesus devoted, amen, uh, members that was with him, amen, they called out, blessed is the king who come in the name of, amen, the Lord, amen, blessed is the king, amen. Not only that, they honored him, amen. The peoples of Jerusalem, they honored, they honored him to the point, amen, they tell me, Brother Render, that they broke down palm trees took the bridges and, amen, breast the road, and they even tore the coats off, amen. Brother Bubba laid it out for him to ride in there on his donkey. Jesus came in, amen, a conquering warrior. 
Amen. When Jesus finally arrived, all the city was moved saying, who is this? Amen. Who is this? Amen. Matthew 21 and 10. Today, people are still courage and courage and, and they all still are talking about Jesus. Although we can't pay the road with our coats, uh, we can't take palm trees and break them down and put them out there. We still can give him praise. We can still shout praise. I don't know about you, but every morning I wake up, I tell God, thank you for another day. Giving him praise. Amen. Praise to him. Amen. In person. Amen. We may not be able to do it, but we can still honor his name. Can I get a witness? Let me say that again. I said we may not, but Bubba, be able to, amen, praise him in person. But we still can call his name. Because just calling his name, the Bible says, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. We can, amen, uh, we can be able to see him, amen, his remarkable work, amen, assist peoples in need. Amen. Patiently. Amen. Bow. Amen. Insult. Amen. And love each other deeply. That's something we can do. We may not can do break down palm bushes. We may not can throw our coats out there. But we can help those that are in need. Jesus tells us, amen, amen, to bless those that are hungry. In other words, feed them. Amen. Not only feed them, he said, clothe those that are naked. Amen. And open the doors for those that are outside. So our job is not over. We still have jobs to do. So, amen, we may not can do what they did back in Jerusalem, but we still got work to do. Amen. In this pandemic, a lot of people, say, amen, I see every day. And they be talking, Pastor Ponder, uh, I'm not working now, I'm going through. And uh, I'm not rich, but I thank God I have a nickel or two in my pocket. And I'm able, I said, well, I can't, amen, uh, buy your whole dinner, but I'll get you a burger or whatever and help you out. And, and the Lord has been blessing me because of that. My brother and sister, we must be ready, amen, to answer, amen, the onlooker. And the onlooker is those people that are hurting, those people that need help, those people that, amen, ask, who asks, amen, who is Jesus? A lot of people ask asking the question, who is Jesus? Amen. And our job, Brother A.B., is to be able to respond. Amen. Because believe it or not, here we are in 2021. And there are a lot of people don't know who he is. Oh, help me somebody. There are a lot of people don't understand that Jesus still lives. He still has all power. Many people have said, it is a simple thing to say that Christ died for our sin. Lord help us. Listen now. Many people say that. Amen. But let me go back to this. We need to let them know that we honor God. Amen. Name. Whatever we do. Honor his name. And when we call him our father, we, amen, live like him. His son. Amen. Do you hear me? When we call him our father and live like his son, we're honoring his name. Amen. Many people have said, amen, it is a simple thing to say that Christ died for our sin of the world. Amen. Sins of the world. But it is quite another thing to say that Christ died for my sin. It is, amen, a shocking thought that we can be an indifference, amen, as power, amen, as shameful as K. Alpha, amen, uh, as Colin, as the soldier, or as restless as the mob and its coward as the disciple. But then recall what Jesus said. Amen. As he hung on the cross. What did he say, Pastor? He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. 
In other words, all the things that, amen, I just said, amen, talking about shocking things, amen, and being indifferent, as powerful, shameful, as careful, amen, and column as a soldier, and restless as a mob, coward as the deacons, a disciple, amen. But we recall what Jesus said as he hung on the cross, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. The cross of Christ, listen, it revealed the love of God at its best. Did y'all hear me? Let me say it again. The cross of Christ, it revealed the love of God at its best. And the sins of the world, amen, at its worst. So my brothers and sisters, when we talk about Calvary, we got to realize that Jesus died for your sin and mine. I thank God this morning that, amen, as we pray and as we do what God have us to do, many times we must realize that only Jesus can wash away all our sin. Only Jesus can make us whole again. Only Jesus, nobody but him can do it. So as I look at the message this morning, I think about the thing that he's done for us. I think about how the Lord has given us, amen, peace of mind and, and rest. And I look at, as I'm uh, looking at the scripture, I thought about something this morning. I thought about, amen, Jesus being crucified. I thought about how, amen, they did him. And I want you to think about it with me. Amen. Here was a man never done in the wrong. All he did was feed the hungry, clothe the naked, give sight to the blind. That's all he did. But because of that, amen, they wanted to find enough evidence, amen, to crucify. Even when they took him to Paul, he said, I find no fault in him. Amen. And he thought he could get away with it, but the people, amen, start shouting. The mob got restless, and they start, amen, want to condemn him. So Pilate, he turned them over to them. Amen. So we find, amen, then they went on and, amen, did what they wanted to do. They took him to Calvary. Amen. And when they took him to Calvary, they stripped him of his clothes. Amen. Amen. But my brother and sister, Thank God Jesus, amen, still said forgive them, for they know not what they do. My brothers and sisters, amen, notice that there are four groups of peoples involved in the crucifixion. Did you hear what I said? There's four groups of peoples involved in the crucifixion story. The soldier, they purified uh, from Christ, they profit from Christ, Death. And, amen, they, 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 they mocked him. They mocked him. They talked about him. They, they spit on him. They did a lot of things. The religious leaders and the ruler, amen, joined in the mocking with them. The criminal, amen, was suffering the same crucifixion, yet not died the same death. Lord help us. I said, those that hung beside the male factor, one on the left, one on the right, they, they suffered, amen, crucifixion, yet they didn't, amen, have the same death as the Lord, amen, of the Lamb of God, amen, who sacrificed, amen, for you and I and gave us salvation. Amen. The crowd, however, just watched. They watched as they looked. The worst, amen, Translation, the word translated, look on, amen, speak of being, amen, spectators. Uh, there were three types of people there, spectators, agitators, and dictators. They were there. The spectator was watching, amen. The dictator was telling them what to do. And the agitator was just stirring up stuff. And that's what happened, amen, when they got, amen, to the hill called Capri. They tell me when they got there, they took Jesus and tied his hand behind his back. Then they put him, amen, across and nailed nails in his hand and nails in his feet. And then they lifted him up 
Amen. And drop them down in the hole. And that song right said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. And the worst thing they could have did when they lifted them up, my brother and sister, amen, when they lifted them up, amen, things happened, amen, darkness appeared, grave was bust open, blood was running down the street, a whole lot of things started happening because, amen, they weren't just, amen, crucified. They weren't just killing them. They were crucifying my Lord and your Savior. So my brother and sister, the crowd, however, just watched, amen, the worst, amen, uh, situation that they could ever see. But I'm thankful this morning as we look toward, amen, another Easter Sunday morning. I'm thankful, amen, that we don't have to worry about nothing. We got a Savior on our side. We don't have to worry about him, him dying no more. Amen. He died one time. He's not going to die no more. Jesus is on his way back. You look at somebody and say he's on his way back. The Lord is coming back again. Amen. And I don't know if you know it when, amen, this pandemic first started. I started wondering, is he's on his way back? People dying everywhere, left and right, hospital, nursing home, schoolhouse. Amen. In the car, in the home. I said, Lord, is you coming back? Well, what, what are you saying, Pastor? I'm saying, if you got your heart fixed, if you got your mind made up, whenever you come, you can say, Father, I'm ready. Because he's already forgiven us of all our sin. He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And I'm grateful this morning to say, thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for being the God of my salvation. Thank you for holding my hand. Thank you for just being a friend. Thank you for just, amen, watching over me night after night. Thank you right now. Thank you. Thank you for blessing our church. Thank you for blessing our members. Thank you for blessing mothers and fathers. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do for. And we give your name praise. We give your name honor. And we give your name glory. Realize, oh, in the Father, it's another day, another day journey, and I'm glad about it. And I realize, amen, in the church, amen, today we don't have service like we normally have it. Amen. We're not able to have big congregation, but we got you, Lord. And long as you're in the house, everything's going to be all right. Thank you for being in the house. Thank you for holding my hand. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you right now. We give your name glory. We give your name honor. And we give your name, amen, the peace of God. Let us bow our heads. Heavenly Father, it's another day that you blessed us. And I thank you, Lord, for forgiving them. Even though the thing that they did, thank you, and the Father. But look at me on their fault and seeing their need. Oh, God, we thank you for blessing the sick and the shed in. Pray if you bless those that listen to our message this morning. Bless those who have the Father that want to listen and can't listen. Lord, bless our church. Bless our members. In the name of the Father, name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank God. God bless you. You know. The day of the fourth Sunday, and we do our communion, and we're going to ask, amen, Brother Runner, he will give us our message, amen, as he give it, amen, listen very attentively, after which be prepared, amen, to have your supper. We always told you, amen, that, uh, amen, you can have your own supper, amen, get some wine and crackers, and we would, amen, eat, we break bread together. As Reverend Runner, give us the message. Let us listen. Good morning. Reading from the NIV, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, beginning at verse 23. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. 
In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he come. So then, whoever eat the bread or drink the cup of the Lord in unworthy manner will be guilty of sin against the body and blood of the Lord. Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat of the bread and drink from the cup. For those who eat and drink without concerning the body of Christ and drink, bring joy on themselves. That is why men among you are weak and sick, and in number you have fallen asleep. Thank you so much, Brother Randall, for giving that message. Certainly, amen, we know that, amen, the word is what it says, amen. Jesus was with his disciples. He took unleavened bread. He blessed it, broke it, gave it to the disciples, said, take eat. This is my body, and they ate together. And after eating, Jesus blessed the cup, gave it to them, said, this is my blood, New Testament, that was shed it for you. Let's drink. They drink together. After drinking, amen, the Bible said, amen, there's a, a mean world out there. There's a place, amen, that people don't care nothing about you. I pray that you leave the day, amen, wherever you're at, at your home, your living room, or wherever you are. Go tell somebody that Jesus still lives. Yes, no matter what you hear or what you've heard, Jesus still lives, and he have all power in his hand. God bless you, and may heaven smile upon you. Certainly I know that the Lord is good, and he's good all the time. God bless you, Pop the Spring. God bless you. As we move to a close, we don't want to leave without announcement. Amen. This Sunday, amen, the 28th, we have our prayer list. Amen. We have a prayer line. Don't forget it. Uh, thank God for Sister Jackson. She put this on, amen, give it to me every Sunday. And this young lady called because she would listen and heard me mention our number. So you can call in on Wednesday, uh, 645. Amen. I, the number is, amen, 1339-209-5770. Call Wednesday around 645. We start, amen, on the list around about 7 o'clock. So we look forward to you calling. I'm going to put on our prayer line this morning. Papa Spring Baptist Church leadership, a deacon, a trustee, amen, Sunday school staff, missionary, amen. We want to put together Pastor A list and all the rest of the people at our church, amen, the motherboard, all. We're praying, amen, for all the mothers of Papa Spring. Certainly, we want you all to know we're praying for you daily, praying for you daily. Praying for Deacon Rice and them. Tell Deacon Rice, Deacon Rice. Pop Spring love you, and we're still praying for you. Amen. Deacon Russell Stewart, amen. You know, lost his sister, Brother Hezekiah Douglas, lost his sister. Amen. Dexter Cherry, lost his sister, and we're still praying for them. The Pun and the Mac family, they lost a loved one. We ask that you be in prayer for Sister Annie Mack, my wife. Be in prayer for Brother George Lee. Brother Lee is not doing well. Amen. And we pray that God would strengthen him for his weak, build him up for his tone down. On one occasion, George was, amen, Sister Willie, assistant superintendent. So we ask that you be in prayer for him. Sister Helen Richardson, amen. That's a Miss Kena Willie mother in California. We ask that you be in prayer for her. She's been on the prayer list and kind of sickly. And we pray that God would strengthen her when she's weak. Build up what she's toned down. Amen. Brother Kendrick tell Tyler. Amen. Sister Jackson, nephew. We're still praying for him that God will strengthen him. Praying for Brother Bubba. Amen. Our musician and his family. That God will strengthen them. Bubba will be out of town quite a bit. I thank God that Amen come all the way from out of town. Just come play for his pastor. We appreciate that. 
Brother Fred and Kathy Lowry, amen, still holding on. Amen. We thank God for Patricia and that Fred's sister and John. Thank you all for praying for Fred and thank you for calling in Poplar Spring. Keep on trusting the Lord. Amen. He's going to make a way. We're praying for Bobby and Doris Tarver. Brother Tarver been doing kind of poorly. We're asking that you be in prayer for Brother Tarver, Tarver that he gets stronger. We're praying for Sister Linda Tiller, nephew. Amen. Brother Dawson, amen. We ask that you be in prayer for him. Jermaine Glass, amen. In Pete Mount Hospital, yes. amen. This is Sister uh, Linda Tiller, amen. Nephew as well. Friend. Son, amen. Friend. Amen. It's a friend, amen. So we ask that you be in prayer for her, him. Friend. Gwen Wallace is out of the hospital, doing much better. Amen. We're asking that you be in prayer for Amen, Gwen. And Amen. We we know that Amen. All things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. Amen. So we're asking that you be in prayer for Gwen and Wallace. That God will continue to bless them. And I want to uh, apologize, Sister Jackson. You got it down here. Amen. This is uh, Amen. Uh, for the glasses in Piedmont Hospital, a friend of Sister Linda Tiller. God bless you. And we're going to be praying for him. Amen. Don't forget, people ask me, say, Pastor, if I want to give something to Pop Spring, how can I do it? Well, we have five ways you can give. Amen. Send it through USP mail. Uh, log in on our website, www.psbcellywood.org and click on Give. A download Giveify app on your mobile phone You'll see my picture. Amen. And you can do it that way. Or add to your bill of pay. And it will come through the mail. Or then we can make it even simple. Insert it on our secured lockbox on the door at our church. And we'll get it that way. Amen. Certainly, we need your help. We need your tithe and your offering, Poplar Spring. We're asking that all our members do what you can. Certainly the Lord will bless you for it. I want to say again to Amen, Sister Amen uh, uh, Jackson and Amen. I want to say to Sister Willie, thank you all for coming. And I want to say to Sister Betty Montgomery, we love you. We thank God for you. And we pray that God will just continue to strengthen you and your family and all of you that are here. Baba, Amen, keep on holding on. Amen. God is blessing us. Amen. Hold on to God's unchanging hand as we go off. Hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. Oh, I hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. You ought to be your hope on thing. You turn, turn down. You ought to hold. God's sudden change in hand. Oh, you ought to hold to his hand. Yeah, God's sudden change in hand. You ought to hold to his hand. Yeah, God's sudden change in hand. You ought to be healed. Your hopes on things eternal. Ask you what Papa Frank doing? Tell them we're still standing. Oh! 